First things first, shout out to CNET for this, and a shout out to Joan E. Sol Salzman for making this article, man. Netflix has canceled Marvel shows? Disney may revive them after all. Now, in an interview, the head of Disney Plus says resurrecting the likes of Daredevil, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage is a possibility. Yes! I knew I was onto something. I knew it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, the universe. Thank the universe. Now, maybe Daredevil, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage will live to fight another day. Kevin Meyer, the Disney executive in charge of the company's plan, Netflix revival, I'm sorry, Netflix rival streaming service called Disney Plus, said he considered reviving the programs, according to an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. And he goes on to say, and I quote, we haven't yet discussed that, but I would say that's a possibility. He said of resurrecting the cancer shows he called very high quality shows, end quote. Damn right they were. Netflix declined to comment. Of course they did. <laughs> now, I don't blame, listen, this guy, let me just say this right now, man. This guy, this Disney Plus guy really has my vote right now. He really does, man, because he's right. I mean, those, those shows are very high quality shows. People love those characters, man, for a reason, you know, when they did what they did. And I would love to see them back on. I would definitely be getting my Disney Plus subscription this year. You know what I'm saying? This is an upcoming year. You, you dig? But anyway, on with the article. Disney, which is making over, which is actually taking over major parts of the 21st Century Fox, is aiming to build a Hollywood fortress with the with resources to battle deep-pocketed tech media companies like Netflix. I wish it were, wasn't no competition, <laughs> but, you know, hey, barriers to entry. there's no barriers to entry. So, Disney's plan to launch a competing streaming service has turned the company's relationship with Netflix on its head. Now, after this year, Disney will mostly disappear from Netflix. God damn, that's going to hurt so many damn people. But then again, I know how Netflix is. They're very resilient. They don't go down easily. Now, since 2016, Netflix has been the first place to watch Disney's movies with a subscription. That deal made Netflix the go-to go -to place for the biggest, use, uh, I'm sorry, the biggest U.S. blockbusters of the last three years. The top two movies of 2017 and the top three movies of 2016 and 18 <laughs> were all from Disney. Netflix has been place has been the place to binge them all, but Disney decided against renewing that that Netflix deal as it plotted its own competitor. So starting with Disney's 2019 slate of movies, all those films are destined for Disney Plus. But Netflix's Marvel Defenders show shows are complicated. Netflix has put out five original series based on Defenders characters in partnership. And with Disney, this year, Disney canceled three of them. Daredevil. Oh, well, I'll just do it in, in its actual chronological order. Luke Cage, The Iron Fist, and now Daredevil. But the terms of their original deal could restrict Disney Plus from any revivals until 2020, according to a report. Damn, like I said, Netflix is very resourceful, man. Very, very resilient. So I kinda, I'm not too shocked at this. At the same time, Netflix still has subsequent seasons of other Defenders series including Jessica Jones and The Punisher, set to come out in 2019. See, I was wondering for, I was wondering about those too. Like, I, I did a video on, you know, some set photos of The Punisher, you know, and I wondered about Jessica Jones for a while too. But, you know, I'm glad they're actually still on there. I'm glad they're not on the chopping block, at least not yet. Uh, fingers crossed. So, some of the Defenders gang is staying at Netflix for the time being. Um, Marvel, like Netflix, I'm, I'm sorry, Marvel, like Star Wars, Lucasfilms, and Pixar, are part of Disney. They'll all be packaged into the new streaming service. The service will also include its own exclusive originals. They'll include a live-action, big-budget Star Wars TV series called The Mandalorian, being developed by John Favreau, a Star Wars Rogue One prequels TV series starring Diego Luna, and a live-action Marvel series focused on Avengers character Loki starring Tom Hiddleston. Now, the first pub... Now, I look forward to this, man. This has been your boy, Terry Speaks, man. Are you guys going to go into Disney Plus? Because I know I am. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below, as always. If you guys have any requests as to any videos you guys would like me to do, let me know in the comments section below. They're always welcome. They always will be. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more content. I love you guys. This has been your boy, Sheriff Speaks. One love.